Light and salvation is my Lord and Savior. He, my life's stronghold, from whom shall I cower when evil doers draw near from their tower? They stumble and fall. Light and salvation is my Lord and Savior. He, my life's stronghold, from whom shall I cower? When evil doers draw near from their tower, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we enter into this celebration, we take a moment and we acknowledge that we're in need of God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God the Father's right hand to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting dis discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the holy ones through Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. 
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamped around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. So when I pondered this uh, particular gospel and I looked at this and I wanted to focus on blessed are those who are poor in spirit, you can go back to the first reading because Paul exhibits that. He completely relies on God. He turns his whole life over to God and in the service of others. So when you go through the Beatitudes, blessed are the peacemakers, Paul was a peacemaker. He was always working with the people, trying to have them come to understand Christ and Jesus' life. When you look about those who were stood up for justice and righteousness, Paul was one of those. He was out there and he was living it. So today, it's really wonderful when you hear him, he's always surrendering himself. So he is poor in spirit. Who's his guide? Who's the, uh, the direction that he's going to take? God's direction, Jesus' direction. And it's that constant surrender that brings him more closely into relationship with God. But he also recognizes, and so did Jesus, that he was going to be persecuted. And he was. He was beat up all the time. He was flogged in public. He was thrown in the prison. He endured a lot of persecution. And you know something? We do too. I don't think we always realize it. We stand up for real, true beliefs and values that most of the world don't always embrace. We believe in the right to life. 
right there can send some people off tail spinning into all kinds of directions because we do believe in life and we do stand up for life. Whatever that may be, we don't stand for the injustices where people are separated from one another, people are put down, people are beat up. You know, when we start to look in our world and we see the injustices, we're not a silent voice. A lot of us are out there saying, wait a minute, hold on. So was Paul. So when we hear these beatitudes, we surrender ourselves because we see something out there that needs to be addressed. That's what we're called to do. So when Jesus says, pick up your cross and follow after me, he means it. Sometimes we do have heavy crosses because it would be so easy to live without addressing anything and just kind of fade into society as just one more person. But when we are called to live out the gospel of Jesus, he calls us forth. So does Paul. Paul really recognizes that we surrender ourselves to Jesus, but there is a deepening that in our spirit and in our relationship with Jesus to really say it's about God and it's about God's people. So as we hear these words, we're challenged. We can either take up the challenge or we can fade into society and just be one more person out there. But then the message is not heard. So we have to uh, do some discernment every day of our lives. What do we believe and what do we stand for? Who are we? And what is my value system? Who is God in my life? And how do I follow in God's footsteps, in Jesus' footsteps? Our challenge today is really to ask, are we the peacemakers? Are we the meek? Are we those who are poor in spirit? Let us stand and pray. As we gather today and we ponder these words of the Beatitudes of which Jesus challenges us to deepen our relationship with God and also with one another, we are forced to really live truth and help us, Lord, through your spirit to live that truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord and I want to pray for the poor and I want to pray for those who have experienced injustice in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord and I want to remember those who struggle to make ends meet and those who families who need God's protection and certainly help. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let's pray for the, the sick and those who are in need of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord and let us also pray for ourselves that as we are disciples of Christ, we can be challenged and that we can bring challenge to those around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your prayers, for whom or for what shall we pray? For Sharon's granddaughter, who is celebrating her birthday today, that the Lord will watch over her, blessing her and healing her, we pray to the Lord. For Joan's uh, wonderful uh, uh, prayer of thanksgiving to the parishioners here at Blessed Sacrament, for those who sent cards and offered prayers for her recovery, we pray to the Lord. For healing for Christina's mother and Jeannie's niece, we pray to the Lord. For those who are working and fighting for peace and truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, we are challenged. I'm sorry. Lord, for Diane's father, Paul, who celebrates 27 years in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, you send us forth. We embrace your call, your gospel. 
Help us to live the Beatitudes and surrender ourselves to you, Lord, but also to watch out for others your, you, and live that gospel as we lift these prayers today and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread that we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, that what we offer may be acceptable, an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company, with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth. Are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, with all the clergy and all of you, God's holy people. And we remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we're going to remember Natertia Amorum. Bring her and all who have died into your mercy and welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And so we gather our hearts this day as we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. So let us turn to one another and offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace, Sam. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting.
God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. And let us pray. May our healing work, may your healing work, O Lord, free us from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. As we uh, turn to the Blessed Mother, I've been asked as one of our Mass requests is the healing for Robert Zaldivar. Zaldivar. So let us pray for Robert and his healing as we approach the Blessed Mother and pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Chestahova, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord. Have a great day, everybody.